Hey, this is Kendra with Signing Agent Basics. On April the 7th of this year, I had the pleasure of being interviewed by Robert Lewis of Evolve Mortgage. In addition to being a proficient and sought after mortgage loan officer, Robert also has a video series where he interviews professionals in the mortgage, real estate, and finance industries. You will definitely want to follow his series to gain more information and insights from the experts that he has on. I've got links to Robert's socials down in the description box and make sure that you watch through the entire interview to see how you can contact Robert for the possibility of getting free access to my signing agent advanced training program. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook, make sure that you do that today. Links to all of my socials are also down in the description box. No matter what, make sure that you hit that like button hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. This is Kendra with Signing Agent Basics, hoping that you enjoy the interview. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to my replay viewers or to whoever might find this video wherever you are. It's your resident online mortgage lender, Robert Lewis, back at you with an exclusive video slash conversation this evening. Um, I am super excited to have someone that I could call a friend. I've known for a long time, but more importantly, someone that is a professional in her field. And due to the environment that we're in now, I think it's timely and pertinent for those of you who may have been affected by what is going on. What do I mean? I mean, you may be scrambling, you may be uh, looking at other options as far as you know, career changes or additional streams of income. So uh, I, went, I went way back in the, in the Rolodex, you know, the first 10 people, and uh, I've enlisted one of the best signing agents in the country. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to bring on Ms. Kendra Lewis to the show. How you doing, Kendra? Fabulous, fabulous. How are you doing today? All is well, all is well. And I I appreciate you again for coming on. So my pleasure. Um, you know what? You I, I just lost my train of thought. But anyway, let's let's get it together. Well, first, let me tell your viewers in case they're curious. My last name is Lewis, but Robert and I are no relation. I know some of y'all thinking he's doing some nepotism stuff. He got the he got the fam up in there. That's that's my brother in Christ. <laughs> See, Kendra, I've been lying to the people all the time. <laughs> people, Robert. Tell my, look, truth. I think the young folks call it cloud chasing. I've been cloud chasing, saying that you were my sister. Now you came on. You're my brother. You're my brother. You're my okay, brother. Okay. I'm another yeah. mother. <laughs> wait, wait. Before, between you and I. But thank you. I got my, my, my bearings back. Before we get into what we came here for, Kendra, why don't you take a few minutes and give the folks a little bit of your background, and then we'll go from there. How does that sound? Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. So as uh, Robert mentioned, my name is Kendra Lewis and I am a signing agent. He was actually asking me, is that the official title of what you do? And the official title of what I do, what I am, is I am a mobile notary loan signing agent. And basically my job entails all of those things that were mentioned. So first of all, I'm a notary public. Um, loan documents have a lot of documents in them that have to be notarized in order for them to be official for the funding of a loan. So for anyone who is doing a signing of a loan, you have to be a notary public. But then I'm also a mobile notary. So I basically take the loan signing to wherever the client is, whether that's at their home, their office, uh, I've, I've done loan signings on the hood of my car before in between softball games, but I'm, I'm a mobile notary. So I meet people wherever they are. And then I am a loan signing agent. So again, my job is not just to notarize documents, but to understand loan documents and to be able to give a brief description 
of each of the documents to the signer. I'm, I'm sure many of you have purchased a home. And if you haven't purchased a home, when you do purchase a home, you better talk to Robert so you can get the right kind of loan for your home. But uh, if any of you have purchased a home, then I'm sure you remember that big, huge stack of documents that you had to sign. And I'm sure you remember how intimidating it probably felt looking at that stack of documents. So part of my job is to be able to go through those documents with you to make sure that you understand clearly what it is that you're signing and that you're comfortable with what you're signing. And if for some reason you have a question about it, then I'll let you know who we need to contact. So if you've got a question, you know, these, this doesn't look like the loan terms that my loan officer told me, well, you know what, let's get, let's get your loan officer on the line. We're going to talk to him. But again, if you have Robert for your loan, you ain't have to make those calls because you're going to get exactly what he told you. Um, but that's, that's basically what a mobile notary loan signing agent is. And that's what I do. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for the explanation as to what it is that you do. And I, I'm, I'm not going to let you off the hook. I want to go a little deeper. Three minutes. Give us a little insight as to, you know, how you've come to this place. Or, you know, let me ask this. Where did you grow up? One, mm -hmm. um, give me a little bit about your early career. Mm -hmm. And what was the pivotal moment or thing that got you into this line of business? All right. I'll try to condense it to three minutes because, like I said, I'm wordy. Uh, but I'm originally from Jacksonville, Florida. I grew up in Colleen, Texas. I'm a bit of a military brat. My stepfather retired there. So I grew up there. Um, went to college in Florida, but then I came back to Texas. And my original career choice, I was going to be a jewelry buyer. I actually worked for a jewelry store all through college. Um, I was going to be a jewelry buyer. But long story short, at the last minute, that ended up not working out. And like most people, I needed a job. And so uh, a friend of mine referred me to work for a finance company. And working for that finance company is actually where I met Robert. So I think that was in 99, 2000. So it's been a minute. And one of the, the many different products that we sold at that finance company were mortgages. We did home equity loans. And so that was actually my very first introduction into mortgage and lending and, and, and the loan documents and that kind of thing. So um, I worked with that company in the finance division for a while. And then I switched over, moved to San Antonio, Texas, which is where I'm at now. And I switched over to doing only mortgages. I switched over to the mortgage division. Um, I worked for the mortgage division for about four or five years. I was a loan officer. I was a processor. I was a processing manager. So I basically have nightmares about loan documents because that's all I've ever seen for years. Um, but after doing that for, for many years, again, like most people, I kind of got tired of working for someone else. And it got to the point where for me, success and happiness meant being my own boss and having the, the flexibility to do what I wanted to be there for my family when I wanted, while at the same time making enough money to live. And so a friend of mine actually owned a title company in Austin at the time. She was an escrow officer for her own title company. And she actually asked me just to do a few courtesy closings for her here in San Antonio as a favor. So I was still working for the mortgage company, but I was a notary. So I was like, yeah, sure. So I did a couple of closings for her. Everything was easy because, again, these were documents I was really familiar with. And then I remember, you know, you know, you talk with your friends on the phone. I was talking with her on the phone and I was fussing about you know, my job and wanting to do something else and be my own boss. And that's when she suggested being a signing agent full time. So I did a little bit of research about it. And not too long after that, I marched into my boss's office and told him I quit. <laughs> and then this was uh, actually in 2007, right before the mortgage crash. And so, you know, my boss was like, you're crazy to leave the security of a job to go and be self-employed. Well, again, long story short, I ended up doing pretty well and he ended up getting let go. So, you know, working for somebody else, working for a company um, is no guarantee that everything is going to be OK. And even though it seems a little scary at first, to me, I found more security in being my own boss because I know that my success or failure really depends on the work and the effort that I put into it. And, and, you know, Kendra, that's why I wanted to dig a little bit into the history be, for, for a couple of reasons. Number one, and most importantly, to encourage those that might be watching, because a lot of change is going on now. In my professional opinion, uh, you know, whenever we get back to what's normal, uh, 
is not going to be normal anymore. Right. And so you, you check a couple of boxes. Uh, you're a female and a minority. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those are barriers for people. Mm -hmm. and, and you mentioned it, it's scary and things of that nature. But once again, that's why I, one of the main reasons I wanted you to come on and let people see your journey to where you are now and what we're going to get into here in just a little bit. You guys stay tuned because we're going to get into what you came for. Uh, and so back to what I was saying, let me digress back to your journey. It's very important for people to see folks that look like them sometimes. And then even if you don't look like somebody like yourself, um, you face adversity in your life. OK. And whenever adversity happens, there's always opportunity. Always. Yep. It's just that we have to, you know, absorb that punch, if you will, that first knocked us off of our square. But when we get ourselves together, you have to look out and lean on the things that you've been doing for years, yep. right? Because you never know what is going to set you up for your next success. Exactly. What do you think about that? I, I totally agree. And, you know, again, I, I started doing this at the beginning of the recession and the mortgage industry going crazy. And like I said, so many people were like, you are crazy to do this right now. But one thing that I've always found, and I'm going to tell you the truth, guys, wealthy people, not just rich people with money, but wealthy people understand that change brings opportunity. And you just have to kind of step out of the situation and look at it and go, okay, what is the opportunity in this situation? Again, you know, the coronavirus situation right now that's going on is crazy. And, you know, there's a lot of people who are suddenly unemployed and that, and I, again, I know that's scary, but at the same time, there's a lot of opportunity um, available right now. Is it okay if I go ahead and tell them a little bit about the remote online notarization? Wait, so, without a doubt, go ahead. Awesome. So, so guys, one of the things that um, has actually been around for several years uh, in most states across the country is something called remote online notarization. Now, that's people have uh, heard of e notarization. But remote online notarization is different. And an e-notarization, it's done on the computer, but the signer and the notary are still in the same place. With remote online notarization, the signer and the notary are in two different places and they're connected via AV, um, just like I'm connected with y'all right now. I'm connected with Robert right now on AV. We're not in the same place. And obviously with um, the quarantine stuff that's going on, the, the necessity to be quarantined, the necessity for self-distancing, um, things like remote online notarization are blowing up. And again, they've been around for a while, but it's been small and almost overnight, just about every company that um, has a platform for remote online notarization, almost overnight, these companies need people <laughs> to work. And, you know, there's a couple of different ways that you can be a remote online notary. You can be an independent where basically you pay um, for a platform and then you can do whatever signings of any documents for anybody that you want, as long as it's legal, obviously. And then there are uh, what are called employer style platforms where you're, you're an independent contractor. You just log in and whatever workflow they have, they send to you. And I actually was on um, a, an employer style platform actually a little bit before I came on with you guys. And this particular platform pays you $5 a transaction. And you're probably thinking, well, that's not a lot of money. Well, you can complete uh, a transaction in five to 10 minutes. So you're looking at, you know, anywhere from like 35 to $50 an hour. I don't know about y'all, but that's good money. You that's, know? <laughs> that's, that's excellent money. And, good money. and, and so have to leave your house, you know, that's great money. And, and once again, change, utilizing the technology, willing to learn something new. Those are all attributes and characteristics that one needs to have, not only in this time, but just going forward. Absolutely. So you, you, you teased us with it, with the remote online notarization. Mm -hmm. Let's slow down a little bit because uh, you, you turned me on to becoming a notary years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going to, if, if I can just briefly, this is how Robert operates a lot. So Kendra, as you can tell, just for the few minutes that you've listened to her, she's very polished and professional. Uh, I'm not, right? <laughs> so uh, she, she, she turned me on to the game and 
I was off running, right? And the key in the point, and the reason I'm making this point is I went out, I did, I made a lot of money doing notaries in the evening. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was I was making more money than I wanted to because I was just getting calls. But one of my biggest problems was I would go to the person's home mm -hmm. and I would talk for seven hours. Mm -hmm. See. Right. <laughs> and so with that said, guys, the reason I brought that up and, and let me throw it to you, Kendra. What are some good characteristics mm -hmm. of people or for people to to become a mobile notary agent or a signing agent? Absolutely. So again, you're, you're self force role, you're self-employed as a mobile notary loan signing agent. So the first thing you have to have is the ability to be disciplined enough to be self-employed. And I know for a lot of people, they think it sounds easy. They're like, what do you mean? Work when I want and do what I want. I can do that. And it's, it's not that it, when we have a regular job, you've got a boss, you've got a supervisor telling you what to do. You've got someone giving you tasks every day, but when you're self-employed, you don't have that. Um, you have to be disciplined enough to, especially in the beginning, when you're, when you're learning the game and you're trying to figure out how this, all this works, you have to be self-disciplined enough to put in the time, the effort, the study to gain the knowledge that you need to be successful at this. Because while this job is not hard, it's not rocket science. I mean, you're basically getting people to sign their name on a piece of paper. It's not hard, but at the same time, it, you, you do have to do it right. Um, and obviously having training helps with that. I do have a training program, which I'll talk about later, but you know, having training helps. You need to be detail oriented. Again, you are getting the document signed for somebody's mortgage. If you miss signatures, notarizations, all that kind of stuff, then that could slow down the funding on someone's loan. And then Robert can tell you better than I can, you know, if the funding is messed up and it was at the end of their lock period and it has to be relocked and interest rates have changed, there can be there can be some serious drama and people won't be happy with you. So it's not hard, but you need to be detail oriented. And then you also need to have some good budgeting skills, because, again, you're not getting a regular paycheck. You know, you're kind of you're getting paid as you work. And you're going to have some really good months and you're going to have some not so good months. You're going to have some really good weeks and some not so good weeks. And if you're the kind of person that spends up all your money when you get it without thinking about the future, then that can cause you problems. So those are probably the biggest characteristics that I would say that you need to have. So you, you heard it there first, guys, from a professional. How many years in the business now? As a signing agent since 2007, so 13, and in, in mortgage altogether, 20. 20 years, right? So disciplined, detail-oriented, and budgeting Budget. skills mm -hmm. for those yeah. of you that are interested in this, right? And, and that's why I chose wisely who I brought on on this topic, because like myself, a lot of you guys are like me. You just run, bam, <laughs> I'm out, you know, and you don't consider the full matter. And so Kendra is someone, and, and we're going to get into it here in just a little bit about the courses that she offers. But again, I wanted to bring, I've been listening, I've been watching and listening in my community and in the audience. And what I hear is fear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and folks don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So this is me giving back. I'm listening to what you guys are saying. And I want you to know, I want to encourage you that there's opportunity, especially with that Ron. What do you call it? Ron? R -O -N? Ron. Yes. Remote Ron. online notarization. So right. seriously, guys, so much opportunity. So that. much opportunity. But with that, we have to do things the proper way. So okay. as we move forward, those three things, if that sounds like somebody, you know, or something that fits you, this, this is something that you're going to want to reach out to Kendra when I put her information uh, out here in just a few minutes. So another question, Kendra, yes. another question. What, what or how important is it um, to be licensed as a professional? And then part B to that question, how does one become or do you have to have a license to be a, a mobile signing agent? So you do not have to have a license to be a mobile notary loan signing agent. Again, obviously you have to be a notary and notaries, we have commissions 
and not licenses. But honestly, it is very easy in the state of Texas to get commissioned. You need to be over the age of 18. Um, you cannot have been convicted of a felony or a crime involving moral turpitude. We don't have to take a test here in Texas. You basically pay your money and you become a notary. So it's super simple to become a notary. Now to become a signing agent, again, there's no licensing required. And technically you don't have to have anything other than your notary commission to become a signing agent. But many companies um, will require that you have a certification from the National Notary Association. And they'll also normally require that you get a background screening from the National Notary Association. But even with those two things, it, it can be done with only those two things. But honestly, to be successful, to, to kickstart your success as well, to, to, to be successful at this sooner, you really need some other training or some other, other mentorship. Um, because like I said, in Texas, there's no training to be a notary. They give you the handbook and say, all right, learn this stuff. And you just have to learn it on your own. The things that you get from the National Notary Association certification really, in my opinion, does not anywhere near prepare you for what you need to actually sit down in front of someone and do a loan signing. Awesome. Awesome. And one other thing to that, and I don't, I don't think I heard you say it, but cost to mm -hmm. become here in the state of Texas, what kind of uh, is it like $65? It's under $100. I want to say it's between 50 and 70. So honestly, what I normally get is uh, a package from mm -hmm. a third party company. Mm -hmm. uh, I get it every four years, uh, which contains my notary commission. I get a new notary stamp and I get my notary journal and it's like $90 plus tax. So under $100 to get everything you need to be a commissioned notary. Now, if you want to also be a remote online notary, there's another $55 charge because you get an, another separate commission as a remote online notary. So, you know, for the, for less than a cost of, of, of a movie and dinner. Less than Starbucks right? a day. <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm not pocket watching, so I'm not gonna talk about your pockets, but. Back in 2011, 2012, when I was just messing around part time, both mm -hmm. years I made thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. It's it's very possible working with signing services, which are kind of like middlemen. You're not making all the money you can when you work with a signing service because they take a cut of it. Mm -hmm. But the average fee, the average amount that you get paid per signing when you work with a signing company, is about one hundred dollars. Um, and part time in the evenings, you can easily do one or two. You could really do more if you, you know, if you had your stuff right and didn't chit chat for seven hours. But you could easily do one or two an evening. So, you know, two hundred dollars a day, five days a week. That's a thousand dollars a week. Part time. Easy, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. So so with with all things that all opportunities, it's really uh, depending your success is depending on your seriousness and how you go about it. But the barrier to entry, it's not like becoming a loan officer or some of these other things, a realtor. And this is a nice uh, income that can supplement what you currently have to help you get over the hump, you know, change your life and possibly go into another full-time career if you choose to do so. So, what I want to do right now, Kendra, is I want to let the folks know if you have any questions, because we're going to be wrapping up here in a minute. Um, but if you have any questions, wherever you're watching from, go ahead and put it in the chat section and then we'll try to bring up a few questions before we get out of here. But I think we've 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 prepared the meal. Uh, we're dishing it up in the back. We've, we've served it to you. One or two courses. Now, here comes the dessert. Right. This is what they want to know. So. <laughs> Uh, I want to show you, okay, let's bring on Mrs. Uh, Lewis's information to show you how you can, um, you can uh, become not only a notary signing agent, but how you can become a professional, okay? So I'm going to blow this screen up here, Kendra. Give me just a second. This uh, is her page. 
in which you can get all of her information. And I'll also put it on all of the, uh, the, the platforms that we're streaming to. But uh, Kendra, why don't, you, uh, why don't you go over what this page is? Let me get it back up here. Okay. And kind of tell the people what, what they should expect when they come to this page. And then I'll just kind of navigate it as you talk. Awesome. Well, at the very, very top, guys, I got links to all my socials. Of course, I'm on uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So guys, look, I put out a lot of great informational videos on YouTube for free. I've actually had people in the industry mad at me, like you, you giving away the secrets <laughs> on YouTube. So free videos on YouTube, guys, that will help you out tremendously. Before, before the coronavirus stuff hit, I was doing two videos a week. Allergies got me. I haven't been able to film for the past couple of weeks, but I'm going to get back on my schedule here in a minute. But guys, tons of free videos. So if you just want to check it out, get a little more insight about what this whole signing agent thing is, you know, get some insight about what some of the things are that I, you know, work with on a daily basis, pros and cons, definitely check that out. And then below that, because it just came out, I've got the training program for remote online notarization. Now, again, this is a hot thing right now, but because it's still kind of new, there aren't a whole lot of areas to get information condensed all in one. There's bits of information here, bits of information there, and you kind of have to be a little bit of a detective to put it all together. Well, lucky for you guys, I was a nerd in high school and in college. I love research. I love PowerPoints. I love putting stuff together. So that's exactly what I did. So instead of you hurting yourself for, you know, two, three weeks trying to find all of this information about remote online notarization, what it is, how to get set up, how to get going, what to expect when you get going, I have put it all together in a training for you. Um, and that training is $99. But the awesome thing, guys, is I use PayPal for my payment processing. And I priced it at $99 because at $99, you can do six months interest free. So I know things are tight for folks right now. You might say, I don't have $99. Well, do you have $17 a month? Because I think that's what it breaks down to um you know $99 with 6 months interest free and again guys you 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 know you can make $100 a pop here so you can get your money back in a second so then underneath that i just have again um another link to my youtube channel um and then oh i also again if you want to know more about my history more about my background more about the journey as to how i became a signing agent again pros and cons the good and the bad the stuff i got right and the stuff I totally screwed up. I have a free webinar that you can jump on where I you know, go through all of that. You get the deets, the details. It is there. Check it out. And then I also go into detail about what my signing agent training program covers. Now, if you're one of those people like, girl, I don't even need to look at your web, uh, a webinar. I know I'm ready to do this. Right underneath that, I've got the pricing and information for the three different levels of my training that I offer. So in all of the training, guys, you get um, eight hours of training videos and I give you a whole entire sample loan package because that's one of the big things that new people want. They want to practice with a sample package, but you it's almost impossible to get your hands on one of those if you are not already in the industry. So I've got a sample loan package in there, guys. I've got, uh, I give you videos explaining how to explain the CD and the settlement statement. I give you a video about how to explain all the rest of the loan documents. I give you a video about what some of the common errors are and how to avoid them. And then I give you a whole two hour video talking to you about how to market for direct business. So as we were saying earlier, <clears throat> a lot of people work for signing services and there's nothing wrong with that, but they take a piece of your money. And I'm one of these people, I want all my money. Run me my money. I want all my money. <laughs> and so the only way to get all the money is if you get direct business from title companies, lenders, that kind of thing. But of course, new people are like, well, how do I do that? Well, I tell you guys all of my secrets in that video because I'm going to tell you guys, I don't work with signing services anymore. I, I do one or two here and there for a few companies that I've worked with for years just out of a loyalty to them because I've worked with them for so long. But in general, I, I don't 
you know, again, not to sound bougie, but hundred dollars, nah, that's not worth it. That's not worth my time anymore. And I want all of my students to get to that level as well. As a matter of fact, I have a young lady that I mentored, I want to say about two years ago. And I told her, do not accept less than X amount for your signings. And she took that to heart. I cannot even afford to hire her anymore. I used to subcontract to her. The fee that she commands now is so high, I cannot afford to pay her what she charges. She does signings for me as a favor, but I can't afford her. But that's because she took my training on how to get direct business to heart. So I've got three levels on my training. On the basic level, you get access to all of that information. Um, that's the uh, uh, exclusive level, uh, excuse me, the executive level. In the exclusive level, you get all of that. Plus you get access to a Facebook group where you can continue to ask me questions. You have access to me by email. You got access to me by messenger. People are always surprised at how quickly I answer messages. I've had people send me a message at one o'clock in the morning. I hear the alert, I get up and I answer the question. So you guys know it's one thing to, to read training materials, but you have different questions when you're in the real world. So with that level, I'm there to help you when you're in the real world. And then the highest level, the elite level, you get everything that's in the other two levels, but then and you also get a 30 minute one on one Zoom conference with me and you can schedule that Zoom conference for whenever you want. If you want it while we're doing the training, you can. If you want it later on after the training, whenever you want, you can schedule that with me. And then underneath on that same page, in case some of you are like Kendra, I got other questions I want to ask you. If you scroll down just a little bit more, Robert, there is a, a form that you can fill out. And you can send me questions that comes directly to my email. And then I will absolutely reply back. I told you. I told you. I don't play. I'm just bringing value to the community. So let me say this because she doesn't do a good job. Let me do it for her. Look, you cannot afford not to not spend this money. Here's the deal. You can go to YouTube and you can get a piece here and a piece there and a piece here and a piece there. Mentorship is priceless. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, if this is something that resonates with you and your spirit and you've been looking for something, once again, I wanted to bring somebody on with a solution. This is a solution to a problem. And um, I didn't say this, but if you're somebody that's in my community, okay, and you've been affected by COVID, and I'm not gonna be like HR 748, I want some proof, okay? But you reach out to me, okay? And I'm just taking one. And depending on what the, the situation is and the story is, I'm gonna invest in you. I'm gonna pay for it, right? So Robert, let's do this, let's do two, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll pay for one, I'll, I'll give one for free, you handle one, how about that? So two people. See, see guys? And, and, and back to mentorship. See, this is relationship. I've known this young lady and, and you know, you guys see who I come on with. Birds of a feather flock together. You know, I, I don't mess around with just everybody. So don't disrespect her time, please. Right. And if you have an event or something that you've been negatively affected by this tragedy and you're in, you know, disarray and you don't know what to do, reach out. And Kendra, I'm going to handle it. I'll pick the two and then we'll get you started in this. Now, um, for those who are watching, if you know somebody that this will resonate with, share. OK, share this out because this is a this could be a, a game changer for a lot of people. And you know what they say, sharing is caring. So um, share this out to, to everybody that you think might benefit from it and let them know about this opportunity. So let me uh, that, guys, this is not a get rich quick scheme. You don't just get a notary stamp and make tons of money. You, right. you have to be willing to invest in yourself with time and effort as well. You're going to have to put some work into it. OK, right. but what I can promise you is if you put in the work, it will absolutely produce. Exactly. Exactly. So um, before I get out of here, Kendra, because I always uh, go a little too quick because I'm new at this, too, guys. So. I'm putting my money where my mouth is, you know, and to you all, whoever's out there sitting on the sideline, stop being afraid. You know, done is better than perfect and we'll work on it as we go. So I appreciate you guys for coming on. And before we get out of here, it looks like I do have a couple of questions, uh, Kendra. So let's see here, comments. Let's put it up on the screen. Um, 
Robert, I have to hear her on my video for my, oh, have her on my video for my community. Now, whoever this is, you're coming from one of my groups. So if you don't mind, uh, instant messenger me who you are, or I'll find you here in a minute, because if you're commenting from a group, we can't see who you are. And then from Mrs. Daigle, I guess that means what's up? I think that's a pick me. <laughs> oh, pick me. Okay, my bad, Shawnee. I'm like, <laughs> that's uh, like, what's happening? <laughs> out to the beat. Okay, so yeah, Shani, um, you know, everybody is uh, eligible based upon your story and what's happening. So just get that over to me, instant messenger me. Or is that what it's called, Kendra, on Facebook? Message? Messenger? Yeah, they can send you a private message, a direct yeah. message. Send me a private message. Tell me about your situation. And then I'll pay for one. And I, I didn't ask her to do this, but I thank you, Kendra. Um, and, and that's something else, too, as we get ready to get out of here. And I'll give you uh, your final words here in a minute, Kendra. But um, this young lady has been, she's a giver. I, I roll with givers, right? And that's something that you all out there have to realize that, uh, you know, givers always have seed, right? And you have to always find someone wherever you are and be able to give from where you are. And it doesn't always have to be monetarily, right? Give of your time and not expect anything in return. And with that mindset and attitude, you'll always come on on top. So Kendra, I'm going to give you your last words before you get out of here. Go ahead. I'm just excited to be here, excited to, to talk to everyone. I always tell people I can talk about being a signing agent forever. It's what I do. So I, I'm just excited to be here, guys. And I honestly, I really hope that I've uh, inspired someone. Again, I know when crazy things happen, it, it seems like it can be a dark cloud, but this could really be a for real silver lining. You, you may make a change in your life for the better. You may look back and go, COVID-19 <laughs> was one of the greatest things, catalysts in my life. So I, I know, again, absolutely every one of you have it within you to, to be successful. And if I can have a hand in helping you reach that success, I would count it a privilege and an honor. Awesome, guys. Before I get out of here, I'm going to leave this on the screen so you can write it down and find that page and know how to get in contact with Kendra. Uh, and my parting words are simply what they always are. My time is up. I thank you for yours. As I always say, be good to one another. Let grace abound. And until the next time, peace. We'll Bye. see y'all later. Thank you, Kendra. You. Yeah.